All right, so is there anything you wanted to add about the recording process? I think that's where we were before we were so rudely interrupted. Um, recording at home is nice. You can take your time and do a lot of stuff. And we've really kind of come around to the fact that some things work and some things don't, whereas if we were in the studio, we uh, would have kind of had to make those decisions a lot quicker than we can make them here. But uh, that being said, it certainly has taken a long time to, for us to get to this point. So, why uh, why is the album called "Enjoy the Ridge"? Well, we live on Ridge Avenue, so I feel like that's more. It's fairly obvious. Um, I think the kind of literal tongue-in-cheek meaning is the fact that the ridge is not exactly the most enjoyable place. With the uh, with the myriad of septa buses that comes by uh, that come by all the time, rattle our windows and all that. Um, and I also like to think of uh, enjoy the ridge at least a little bit more metaphorically in that uh, I think a lot all of these songs were written kind of um, at least me like when I was at my most reckless. I would say. So, you could probably go so far as to say that you could be enjoying the the ridge. The ridge being the very edge of how far you can go before you get too far. It's very deep. I thought about it a lot. Okay. Well, then, uh... We talked a little bit about song titles and Hi-Fi Glasses Crush being inspired by... Yeah, we probably skipped that. Sean told me to write that one down. Okay. So, hold on, give me one second. Okay. Alright, we got a couple quick ones left. Okay. Favorite venue? Um, North Star is pretty awesome. It's a big place and it's tough to get a decent crowd there. Parking is tough, but I really like playing in North Star. Um, where else have we liked playing? T uh, Milk Boy is always a good place to play. We recorded our first EP there, and they're always very nice and they welcome us with open arms. Um, yeah, I would say those are my two favorite places to play. Uh, would one of them be the spot for your best live show? Uh, skip the question. Skip that question. <laughs> All right, last question. <clears throat> we'll set up a little bit of a scenario. Okay. All right. Say there's say there's this girl. She was born deaf. Okay. She received surgery and they restored her hearing. Mm-hmm. But rather than shock her by just injecting her into a world full of sound, they slowly grew her accustomed to regular everyday sounds and language. She's gotten to the point where they think she's ready for music and they have chosen Enjoy the Ridge. Be the first music that she hears. They bring you in uh -huh. to sort of prepare her for what she's about to experience. Okay. What do you say to her? About the band? About the music? About what? Just to get her ready to hear music. Your music. For the first for time? For the first time. Oh, God. I would say, wow, friggin' ridiculous question here. Um, I would say, uh, buckle up. That's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. That gets cut. Um, I don't know. You'll have to ask, ask Wafer. Okay. <laughs> There'll be a certain amount of levity that she's going to yes. experience. Mostly levity. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks for playing our game. Thank you.